For today, we will discuss about how to write a death certificate. There are two types of death certificate. One is form number four. Uh, it is a medical certificate of hospital patient. Okay. So those patient who admitted to hospital, for those patient, we use form number four. Okay. And another form is form number four A. Okay. It is for the non-institutional death. Almost all formats are same, but there are two different form. Okay, so we start first with the question. So now you can see that name of the hospital. So name of name of the hospital is so name of the hospital is Rambolat Government Medical College. And it is hereby certified that person whose particulars are given below died. In the hospital ward, ward number. Before that, we see the question. Okay. So now it is the first question that ten years old female child brought to hospital with fever, convulsion for last two days, and observation is high degree fever, weak neck, rigidity, and exaggerated deep reflex, and unconsciousness. Okay. So she had history of chronic subverative otitis media from past one year. She died due to pyogenic meningitis four day post admission. Okay. So now we write. We already write the hospital name now ward number. So so the female medicine ward number one on today means twenty first. March two thousand twenty four. Okay, at suppose nine p.m. Nine p.m. First column is name of the diseased. Okay, diseased name. There is no name mentioned in this question, so we write that patient is X or A B C. Okay, so name of the diseased is A B C. Now six. We know that she is female. So sex is female, and now there is three columns. If one year or more in age, and less than one year, and less than one month. Okay. So if uh, her age is more than one year, then we write is in the years, and if her age is less than one year, so we write it in months, and if less than one month, then we write it. In days, so uh, she is. Uh, we can see that she is ten years old. So she is ten years old. And also there is a column that if less than one days, so in hours. Okay, here uh, her age is ten years old. Now, for use of statistical office, you don't have to write anything in this column. The cause of death. There is three column in cause of death. One. A, one B, and two. Okay, so one A, B, and C. Then one is the immediate cause and antecedent cause. Two is the other significant condition which may contribute to the death. Okay, but not related to the disease or the condition. Okay, so now the in the first question we see that what is the immediate cause. Sure. So the immediate cause is pyogenic meningitis. Okay, so immediate cause is pyogenic me. So immediate cause is pyogenic meningitis. Antecedent cause. So antecedent cause is chronic subarachnoid botrytis media. Okay. So antecedent cause is chronic subarachnoid botrytis media. Short form is CSOM. Then other significant condition, but there is no other significant condition which is not related to the disease or cause of death. So we don't feel it, okay? So we can write nail. And here is the intervention interval between onset and death approx, okay? So we can see that she has suffered from fever and convulsion, means the symptoms of pyogenic uh, meningitis is last two days, and then she admitted to hospital, and after four days, she died. 
so the approx interval between the onset and the death is 6 days now the manner of death it is natural then is if this is female was death associated to pregnancy no and if yes there was delivery no okay Na then is name and signature of the doctor who certify the certificate and this portion is given to the uh, relatives of the patient or the death person uh, we don't write it in the exam but uh, here we will fill it but you don't have write this column in the examination hall so it is certified that AM ABC daughter of PQ Ward resident of Ramburad Birum was admitted to hospital on these days and expired on these days okay and and here is the sign and registration number of doctor now the next question a 49 year old male admitted to hospital with complain with left side chest and mid epigastric pain for the last three hours pain is radiated to his radiated to his left arm along with nausea vomiting okay then occasional chest discomfort and syncopal episode for three months back and patient was known hypertensive for the last five years and on examination you can find uh, he was found to be shocked and shifted to ICU. ECG, ECG shows suggestive to acute myocardial infection. He died two hours after admission. Okay. So now we fill. We have already filled that the hospital name. Then, then the ward is male ward. And death is him. And time is approx 9 a.m. 9 p.m. Okay name as there is no name mentioned in this question so we write is abc so the name of the deceased is abc and he is male so we write it is male but you can see that it see uh, he is 49 years age okay then cause of death immediate cause here is immediate cause is acute myocardial infection no his immediate cause is shock okay so his immediate cause is cardiogenic shock so his immediate cause is cardiogenic shock antecedent cause is acute myocardial infraction okay infection ami then the second means c is other significant cause other significant cause is hypertension so other significant condition the contribute to the death is hypertension so hypertension then the interval between onset and the death approx so the onset is uh, last three hour and he dies two hour of admission so the before admission the three hours onset and after admission two hours so death is 2 plus 3 equals to 5 hours so onset and death is interval between onset and death is approx 5 hours in the manner of death is natural and he is a male so no such pregnancy issues then the name and the signature of the doctor and then the this portion is given to the patient party or the death one so we write it that 3 abc son of pqr resident of brampurat birbhum was admitted to hospital on the same date okay so approx five hours ago so same date and then sign and the stamp so this is the second case and we write see the third case third case is a 70 year old male admitted to complain of 
unable to pass urine for past two days and he was diagnosed as benign prostatic hyperplasia for the last 10 years and hypertension for 20 years he expired on third day of admission okay we write it that hospital name is same and ward number supposed to mail one date we write the 21st and time uh, as the time and date is not mentioned so we write it today's date when the video is recorded and name is also abc you can write mail and age is 70 so we write 7 so age is 70 and then the immediate cause immediate cause is uremia okay so uremia causes uremia then antecedent cause antecedent cause is the benign prostatic hyperplasia okay so the antecedent cause is benign prostatic hyperplasia then other significant cause is hypertension because it is not related to directly related to the death here so hypertension and the interval between onset and the death is the on onset of immediate cause and the onset of immediate cause and death is he is past cannot unable to pass urine past two days and dies after third days of admission so the interval between onset and death is 2 plus 3 equals to 5 days then uh, the manner of death is natural and then he is male so no pregnancy related issues and then the sign of doctor after that the lower portion that certified that Sri ABC son of PQR resident of Rampurat Birbhum was admitted on the hospital on 16th March 2024 and expired on 21st March 2024 after that the doctor sign and the registration number so that's all about how to write a death certificate thank you